Hi, and welcome to Super Micro Tech Talks. I'm really excited to introduce Yeming Wing, one of our product managers for Super Micro's Edge servers. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, Heather. Thank you for having me. So today, I'd like to talk about our newly released Ice Lake server, purposely designed for the open run market. And we have spent uh, almost over last year to really purposely design this one to fit into the uh, telco market to meet its uh, function, environmental kind of conditions. We're very uh, proud and very excited to share this uh, product with you. That's great. Could you share with me what Open RAN and ORAN actually means? Sure. Yeah, this is really all related to 5G, right? So for 5G, it's because there's a requirement for new bandwidth and uh, to achieve that, you have to use a higher spectrum. Higher spectrum would require the base stations to be closer to each other. That means we will have to deploy more base stations than was already out there for 4G and 3G today. And because of that, the operators, they have to buy a lot of more servers. And uh, today, for 4G and before, they only have a limited number of suppliers offer an end-to-end proprietary solution. They really don't like it. And also another problem for them to facing is they want to be able to run the cloud applications freely on their Edge server to be able to bring the innovation from cloud to there. With all this proprietary design from the incumbents, they cannot do that either. That's why an open standard based on a, a white box, uh, pro probably more on the x86 type of servers, is a solution for it. And that's why we're working very closely with Intel to make that a reality. Excellent. So what do you have to show me right here? So this is our uh, 6210P server. Uh, as you can see, this is a 2U server. But one thing special about this server from the typical data center server you can uh, is uh, everything, all the I.O. is in the front. And uh, even the power supply is in the front for a specific reason. Because we designed this product as an on-site uh, DU or distributed unit for telco guys. And typically they have an outdoor cabinet sitting under the cell tower, right? So this server has to be pushed in toward the end. There's a, nothing you can open from the, the back, back side. So every access has to be from the front end. So that's why it's very important. Another thing I want to mention also is the depth of the server. Because of some existing cabinet is really, really narrow for they, they can only accommodate certain depths. We designed this one, this server is only 298 millimeter depths to really fit into that kind of environment. So it's, it's very important to, for, for those things that uh, I mentioned earlier, right? to meet the functional and the environmental requirement uh, for the operators. So those are really great features. What about CPUs and internals? Yeah, so because the uh, we're running the telco workload on the servers, and Intel has specifically designed a SKU called N SKU for Ice Lake. N stands for networking or NFVI. So in that SKU, the CPU can go up to 36 cores, go down to 20 cores. They specifically designed because they tested with some telco workload and also optimize for the thermal consumption as well. Uh, we have to accommodate that, especially because the server has to meet the temperature environment. For example, for 36 cores, we have to design certain heating, uh, actually not the heating, to observe the heat functions to be able to make the server running with 36 cores but still can run in 50 uh, degree Celsius kind of environment. We can, we can also run the server in a lower temperature below zero uh, environment as well to meet those kind of uh, environmental uh, requirement. That's very impressive. Another thing special about this server I want to share is if you look at the front end, we have many different slots, PCIe slots, to fit into the add-on cards. This is a very important because for a standard x86 server to be able to acting as a telco server, there are certain things like real-time processing and also timing function has to be covered by it and even monitoring as well. 
so we leave enough uh, PCIe slot for here. Uh, basically, you can have four PCIe slots here. If you use a lower core, we can even open up in the middle, so we could have probably up to six PCIe slots for this server. Very impressive feature set. You had mentioned that there are some add-on cards for the DU. May you share some more about that? Sure. So this is really related back to the PCIe slots we have here, right? So the way we achieve those telco workload is through those add-on cards inserted into the PCIe slots. So one type of add-on card we call the acceleration card. It's a layer one networking acceleration card. And the most popular one we validated now is a Mount Bryce chip based EAC card from Intel. So that will help with the 4G and the 5G protocol uh, translation. Another type of card is a NIC card, networking card, but it's not a, your average networking card because you need to have Grandmaster IEEE 1588 function inside it. Plus, we need to have a GNSS chip to talk to the satellite to get the timing. So because this DU box in the ORAN type of world, many cases will acting as a Grandmaster, offering timing to the radio unit. And uh, in case we're losing connection with the satellite, the server itself need to have a hold over time of the timing for our four hours. So special OCXO has to be added to that NIC card to make that happen. This is an amazing system. I understand that it's already been shipped to customers. Yes. Um, in fact, uh, this one is in very high demand because we purposely designed it for the uh, ORAN type of DU out there. As you know, ORAN is new and uh, DU as a standard of 5G is also new. So we are making that happen. We're one of the very, really early server vendors to build this type of server. Uh, one public information I can share with you because uh, there are many customers I cannot share their name yet. One I can share is Telefonica. So Telefonica in January this year, they published a white paper talking about their uh, ORAN implementation. Inside there, they mentioned the Supermicro's DU, exactly this one actually in the picture for their white paper, right? So we are helping them to realize their dream there. Um, there are other customers probably in the next couple of months we're gonna announce more. So yeah, I mean, it really sounds like Supermicro's really invested into ORAN and making it into a reality. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have seen huge, huge potential in this and we're very proud to make this happen because uh, to be able to have a really connected world, uh, we can if we can contribute and make it a more open and connected world, that's, that's really uh, aligned with our company's mission. By having our server combining with the Intel's uh, CPU, IDON card, and also our software partners uh, combined together, we can realize it and uh, make uh, open run a reality. So uh, I, I'm looking forward uh, for the day this have a massive uh, deployment uh, in, in the operator's field. This was exceptional information. Thank you, Yaming, and thank you for joining us. And thank you, you all, for joining our Supermicro Tech Talk. Learn more at supermicro.com forward slash x12, powered by Intel.